Okay, I'm going to do this next one knowing perfectly well there's a marginal chance this is some sort of parody. But no, it really looks like this girl is serious. She's a young Earth creationist who thinks dinosaurs are a myth and never really existed. I mean, first off, the smug look tells you what kind of person she is right off the bat. Hello. Um, so I wanted to talk tonight a little bit about fossils that are found in the ground. As opposed to fossils that are found in the sky? And um, I guess I'll start a little bit about what the fossils actually are. They're biological tissue that has been permineralized. There, we can skip her pig ignorant description. One of many problems, not just bones are fossilized. Quite often, soft tissue is too. And there are other ways for fossils to form, like the crystallization of the organic material instead of replacement. But all of this is a bit nitpicky and is really to help ease you into the incredible stupidity that's coming. Don't say I didn't warn you, and don't say I didn't try to give you a soft landing. So, um, here's the question that I pose. Now, the first fossil that was ever found was actually after they came up with the idea of a dinosaur, right? Wrong! Absolutely, completely, utterly, and embarrassingly wrong! That seems a little bit far-fetched, right? Yes, because it didn't happen that way! Why would the bone that was found, or the fossil that was found, actually be the exact same thing as what was originally hypothesized without any other evidence. It doesn't make any sense. Which to sane and sensible people would have been their first clue that they had something wrong. She's too smug and arrogant and narcissistic to consider that though. The first dinosaur fossils were found way before anyone had the concept of it. They've actually been found since antiquity. And since people didn't know what they were, they made up myths about giants, dragons, leviathans, your basic monsters. One of the earliest that was formally recorded was from Herodotus in the 5th century BC, who wrote about a giant serpent that supposedly lived in Egypt. Even in her beloved Bible, you have the Leviathan, the Behemoth, giants like Goliath, the Nephilim, all myths based in part on people seeing dinosaur fossils and not knowing what they were. Scientifically, the first dinosaur fossil discovered was a femur found in Oxfordshire in 1676 by Herbert Plott of the University of Oxford. But since, unlike what this stupid woman says, they didn't have the concept of a dinosaur, he wrote in The Natural History of Oxfordshire that it was the femur of a biblical giant. The first time a dinosaur fossil was correctly identified as belonging to an extinct prehistoric animal was in 1824, when English theologian and paleontologist William Buckland found the fossil of a large carnivorous dinosaur that he named Megalosaurus Bucklandi. Yeah, he named it after himself. That's how it goes. The idea that these were extinct creatures, a completely new idea at the time, sparked a wave of interest and various other fossils were found and documented. But they still didn't have an actual concept of a dinosaur until Richard Owen described it in 1842. Even then, the modern concept of a dinosaur didn't start to take shape until later in the 19th and into the early 20th century thanks to the discoveries of numerous and iconic dinosaur species we all know. The modern clay dinosauria wasn't fully defined until 1998, thanks to Paul Serino of the University of Chicago. So after all that, you know that her saying, Now, the first fossil that was ever found was actually after they came up with the idea of a dinosaur, right? Means that the rest of this video is gonna be horrendous tripe. So, now I give to you. Here, you're my paleontologist.
turn that into what it was before I ripped it apart. Here. You can have some spackle too. As much spackle as you want. Here, turn this into what it's supposed to be. She is absolutely clueless about how paleontologists do their work. They do not look at pieces of fossils and try and put them together like puzzles. Any paleontologist worth his salt would tell her that her fossil is worthless garbage because she destroyed all the information they'd need to properly identify, document, and reconstruct the fossil. Information that they would meticulously collect and document in the real world. This is a brontosaurus skull. Making a brachiosaurus skull. That and as much stacks as Chances are, what are you going to come up with? If you want to keep your job, you come up with a brachiosaurus skull. No, if you want to keep your job, and you want not to become the laughingstock of the paleontological community, you'll tell them that you can't come up with anything because some stupid blundering creationist destroyed all the data! If you want to be truthful, you come up with whatever it was that I smashed apart to get this stuff. No, you don't come up with anything because you can't follow the actual methods of paleontology to do so. Even if you could reconstruct something from it, there's no guarantee that's what it originally looked like. And even if it were, that would still tell you nothing without all the information about where and how it was found. Context is every bit as important as the fossil itself, if not more so. These things are taken out of the ground gradually, step by step, little by little, with pictures being taken at every step of the way. All of those pictures, together with where the fossil was found and in what context, are going to be used to make a proper reconstruction should it be needed, should the fossil come out of the ground in pieces or something. Which, it wouldn't be pieces scattered everywhere. The whole fossil would be in situ, so you could see for yourself what it looked like in the ground as you gradually removed the material surrounding it and so you would have to make no guesses whatsoever when you put it back together. When millions of dollars are on the line, which one are you going to do? My guess is you're going to go with the Brachiosaurus. That's where the money is. Um, so, I hope this was insightful for what happens on a daily basis in the world of paleontology. It doesn't happen at all. This is what creationists do. They lie about the science to make it seem absurd because they can't deal with what it really says, which is that their Bible is wrong, wrong, wrong. So thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe, leave a comment, and go to donate.bogosity.tv to keep me doing what I do. And check out all the great content here, like this video selected just for you.